Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're going to talk about another set of high yield topics on the MCAT, gonads, the pineal gland, the adrenal medulla, and the adrenal cortex. These topics are essential for understanding the physiological mechanisms that regulate the endocrine system, which plays a crucial role in maintaining homeostasis and overall health. Let's get started with the gonads, which are the primary reproductive organs in the body. The gonads play a crucial role in the production of hormones that regulate sexual development and reproduction. The gonads, the testes in the males and ovaries in the females, are responsible for the production of the primary male and female sex hormones, testosterone and estrogen respectively. In addition to producing sex hormones, the gonads also produce gonadotropins, which are hormones that facilitate the function of the gonads. In the ovaries, the two main gonadotropins are follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH. FSH stimulates the development of the ovarian follicles, which contain immature eggs. LH triggers ovulation due to the LH spike, which causes the release of a mature egg from the ovary into the abdominal cavity and ultimately ready for fertilization. In the testes, the main gonadotropin is luteinizing hormone, which triggers the production of testosterone by acting on Leydig cells whereas FSH in males helps to produce sperm. While these hormones do have functions on other things, these are the main ones you need to know for the MCAT. So don't worry too much about memorizing all the accessory details of these hormones for the gonads. The ovaries also contain several other cell types that are important for their function. We've got follicular cells, also known as granulosa cells, which surround the immature egg to help produce estrogen. We also have theca cells, which are located outside of the granulosa cells, and help produce androgens that are then converted to estrogen by the granulosa cells. The ovary also control, contains theca cells, which are important for ovulation and luteinization. In the testes, serotoli cells are also important for sperm production. These cells provide nutrition and support the developing sperm cells, also known as spermatogonia. Nurse cells are also found in the testes and are, are responsible for the production of androgens, which are important for sperm production. So to summarize that, nurse cells help sperm development, as do Sertoli cells. Next up, we have the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a small endocrine organ located in the brain. Its main role is to produce melatonin. Melatonin is, in, is responsible for regulating the sleep-wake cycle, or the circadian rhythm. This is our internal biological clock that tells us when to wake up and when to go to bed. Melatonin increases its level in the evening and decreases it in the morning. This helps the body prepare for sleep and wake up feeling refreshed. The pineal gland also plays a role in regulating the onset of puberty by secreting melatonin in response to changes in light exposure. Kind of interestingly, this is why people wear blue light glasses. Blue light is known to inhibit the release of melatonin from the pineal gland. And this comes back to our evolutionary ancestors from when we used to be fish, from when we lived under the ocean as fish. Blue light can travel the furthest through water, which makes it a really good signal to tell fish when it's night and day. How much blue light are they receiving? So we still use this system, even though we get a lot more than blue light. So I'm telling you this because blue light is, is particularly harmful to melatonin release. Finally, we have the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are located on top of the kidneys, and they play a crucial role in the body's response to stress. The adrenal medulla is the inner part of the gland and produces catecholamines, such as adrenaline and noradrenaline. You might recognize these hormones as those that cause the fight or flight response to stress. These hormones do things such as increasing heart rate, increasing blood pressure, as well as increasing blood glucose levels. This is all to prepare the body for action. The adrenal cortex is the outer part of the gland and produces steroid hormones, such as cortisol and aldosterone. Both of these help to regulate the body's metabolism and fluid balance. It's important for MCAT students to understand that these concepts, it's important for it's important for you to understand these concepts because they're related to the function of the endocrine system, which plays a crucial role in maintaining body homeostasis and overall health. Knowledge of the function and regulation of the gonads, pineal gland, and adrenal gland is essential for the diagnosis and management of endocrine disorders. It's essential for you to do well on the MCAT. In conclusion, the gonads, pineal gland, and adrenal gland are key components of the endocrine system that play an important role in maintaining homeostasis and overall health. Thank you so much for watching our video on the gonads, pineal gland, and adrenal cortex and medulla, and I'll see you next time.